Hello, hello, I am back and I'm going to show you this Fortnite pickup um, and after this I will shoot my review of what I've read so far as I've been promising for the last couple of weeks <laughs> just have another chance so if I don't get to shoot at all I will um, just do it in segments of what I can do and then I'll just paste them all together um, so First one is uh, Green Lanterns 4, 4, and 5, and after this I have actually cancelled my standing order for this, because, even though that looks like a cool cover, um, again I'll go through my little review of my thoughts, uh, I'm just not into it, I just can't deal with it, so, cancelled it. Um, as in, uh, the next one I cancelled as well, which is Detective Comics. Um, and I'll go through why. So, I might get good later on. I'll try and keep tabs of it. But at the moment, I've cancelled the Green, Lan uh, Green Lanterns and Detective Comics for my standing order. Um, yeah, just not into it. Again, I'll go through it more in my review slash thoughts coming up. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, I wanted to wait until I got at least five, five issues, I think that's five in, anyway, I wanted to wait at least I get five just to see if I got better, um, but obviously not, although usually story arcs only go for five, so who knows, it could pick up bet better, 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 the one I didn't cancel is Batman, even though, uh, it's not, as good as the Scott Snyder Snyder stuff. <laughs> um, I was curious about the Gotham's um, and how that all worked, and then which will have a bigger thread with Doctor Hugo Strange, and that's a cool cover. It's a very cool cover. But I am current with these, and I, I'm kind of liking it so far. Kind of got a bit better. Um, and we'll see how that plays out. What I am loving is how Jordan and the Green Lanterns getting all the gang back together. Um, I'm liking it a lot, especially compared to the Green Lanterns. Even though there's not really anything new with the Sinestro involved, um, I am uh, rather liking it. Wonder Woman picked up uh, number one. It's interesting how they're doing this. They're running two stories alongside each other. So one issue will be one thing, one issue will be another, and they'll be running it side by side. Um, so issue th so issue like one, three, and five, and seven are all going to be one, and then two, four, six, eight are going to be another story. Um, and so far, I'm liking it. Um, they kind of, I, I guess, yeah. I guess they played with that two running alongside each other so they can do an origin story and those who are not into the origin story which makes sense right because the Wonder Woman movie is coming out next year so it's cool how they just didn't do all the origin story and they just uh, mixed it up kind of looks like Aquaman the new Aquaman in the background look at that Jason Momoa <laughs> it's not though but it, it's hilarious how similarities that's how it's funny. And then the mighty all-star Batman. So there was about five different variants of this. Um, there was a normal one that you've seen, the black cover with his holding his weird looking batarang thing. I don't know what it was. But this was there was another one with the Joker. And then I can't remember the other ones. But this was the best one. This I love the most. It's got the blood coming down, it's got blood on his knuckles. It's hard to tell because it's a red background. It's just sick. Best Batman cover I've seen in a long time. Look at that. Again, I'm going to wait for a couple of issues to come out and then I'll read it all at once because there's so much coming out. It's hard to keep track. It's hard to keep track of what's what. So I like to wait. It's kind of like binge watching on Netflix. Not that I have Netflix, but I kind of binge watch TV shows anyway. Um... That way you can don't lose the story, and so I want to wait for a few issues to come out. But look at that cover! Look at it! Yeah, Batman. Keen for it. So we got Suicide Rebirth. 
Now say what you will about the movie. I uh, can't wait to tuck into some Suicide Squad. Um, be interesting to see how much the uh, Suicide Squad sales spike compared to the new 52 Suicide Squad um, because of the movie. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the comparison, how well this does for the first few issues compared to new 52. Um, that'd be interesting. Interesting katana. Killer Croc. And I got issue one as well. Which is a, there was about a couple of different variants for this. I got this one. There we go. Sideways. It's got Killer Croc. Deadshot. Captain Boomerang. Katana. Looks like it's hard to tell. And then Harley. Win. Deathstroke. That's a cool cover too. He's got blood splatters all over him. Just pretty sweet. Like there's a lot of blood. So that's cool. I think they rebooted in the New Fifty Two. They had like two different runs of Deathstroke because it just didn't sell too well. Um, and then again, they only made it to like in the teens for the second second run. I didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty cool. In the new Fifty Two Deathstroke, but interesting how this one rolls out. Justice League number one. There we go. Interesting how these two are going to be in it. Just because I can't stand them. <laughs> Just why? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the way they did their stories is just like, no, not into it. There we go. Just League number one. And final is Red Hood and to Outlaws. Again, this had a couple of different covers. I chose this one. Let me know. This is just all DC. I didn't have the money to get any of the um, uh, Marvel stuff this week. So it's just all a rebirth. Just as you can tell, there's a massive stack here. Um, yeah, I just had, I'm loving Civil War. Civil War 2, sorry. Um, that is pretty cool. And I'm um, interested to see how it, how it all... What I'm up to is issue 3. And the X-Men have come into it, um, or just come into it, so... Because this is all leading up to the death of the X-Men, which is coming in a couple of months. Um, which I'm keen for. So... Not that I'm keen to, for the, all the X-Men to die, but... <laughs> just keen to see how it all plays out, and read about it, and see how Marvel deals with it. Anyway, let me know what comics you have got. If you recommend any more I should pick up that I missed in Rebirth, I'm kind of sticking to the how you goings. Um, let me know if there's any random other ones that you're keen on. Even if it's not, I don't usually, because I'm only sort of new to comics, so I don't usually venture outside of the whole DC Marvel thing. But if there is a random one from like Vertigo or Dark Horse or IDW, or whatever else is out there that I should pick up and read, let me know, and I'll pick it up and talk about it. Um, yeah, until next time, bye.